My name is Jasmine Brown. I'm a qualified lawyer in New Zealand and I recently passed the QLTS on my first attempt. I was admitted as a barrister and solicitor in New Zealand in August 2005. My first role post-qualification was as a specialised employment lawyer. In 2007 I moved to a highly regarded small private practice in New Zealand and I predominantly worked in commercial litigation and employment law. I then moved to the United Kingdom last year, arriving here in May 2012, and I immediately gained employment working for a QC, assisting on two cases, one in the Court of Appeal and one in the High Court. In August 2012, I started working at Kingsley Napley LLP in their regulatory team assisting with fitness to practice prosecutions. I decided to take the QLTS to progress my career in the United Kingdom. I wanted to understand the content of the QLTS examinations and also the format of the examinations. I went with the QLTS school because the course allowed flexibility for me to study outside of work hours. My experience of studying with the school was very good. I enrolled in the course quite soon to the exam, so I had to get the materials and my administration tasks sorted quite promptly and I found the staff were very good in assisting me with getting my materials to me promptly and also answering my queries very promptly. I also found that my tutor for the, um, the TRST and the OSCE, Jane Sender, was very good at taking into account my um, previous experience and really um, promoting and putting in place a realistic study timetable for me. Many aspects of this course were very beneficial to me, but I think the most beneficial aspect was the MCT materials. I found that the content was exactly what was examined, and so it was exactly what I had to learn. And also I found that the question banks really helped to consolidate that material and knowledge in my head. I try my best to allocate at least 15 hours of study a week towards the exams. This really did involve me having to read the materials on the tube and at any possible moment. I also perhaps put in about an hour every night of study at home and also dedicated at least one day of the weekend to studying. I also took a couple of days off before um, the MCT to study. I didn't have a lot of time to prepare for the exams. I left about a month for the um, TLST and um, a month uh, and, and the OSCE and had perhaps about two months to study for the MT MCT. My firm was supportive of my study despite the fact that I undertook the exams on my own accord. They were very encouraging of the fact that I wanted to progress my career in this way. They also provided me with the time off when I needed it for the exams and also helped me to manage my workload during this time. Obviously I was a bit anxious that I might not have been as well prepared as I should have been going into the exams, but in hindsight I think I was quite well prepared. I am a legal assistant in the regulatory team at Kingsley Napley and I manage a full caseload. I've only just started looking for qualified positions now that I've passed the QLTS, but I'm finding that these positions that I wanted are now becoming more accessible to me. I think that a course is necessary to study for these exams just because the content is very diverse and varied and I think it's important for candidates to understand what will be examined and also the format of those examinations.
I would recommend that people take a course to study for the QLTS and start the course as soon as they can. Obviously, um, the better, you, more confident you are with the materials, the easier you will find the examinations. I felt that I came from a good position in entering the exams, that I came from a similar jurisdiction where a lot of the content was similar to what I had studied or practiced before, but there were still a lot of new topics. I was also particularly lucky that the format of the TLST and the OSCE were not different to the examinations I'd sat in the past and also um, the content that was tested in those examinations I had also um, seen in my practical experience working. I would recommend the QLTS to any foreign qualified lawyer wanting to progress their career in the United Kingdom. In my view, a modern lawyer needs to have confidence and also be flexible. I think that a modern lawyer needs to understand their own strengths and weaknesses so that they can provide an effective service to clients. I think this has as much to do about knowing your own personality as knowledge.